hello youtube welcome back to my channel this video was very requested so here it is i'm using this ugly practice hand <laughs> so you know before you apply your tips i just make the etch the finger this is the nail glue i always use which is bondini so i'll be gluing on a this straight nail tip on how i get it slim and then after this, I will glue on the the curved. Well, it's actually a natural nail, and how I keep the curve on it. Um, so you know, it's super easy. You just cut your tip to your desired length, and I don't use scissors because I always crack the nail for some reason when I use scissors. So I use my a medium grit nail bit. I'm using this one. Um, so then I rotate the up to the other side you know how you can fat, um, forward or reverse so on one side i'm doing forward and the other side reverse so i don't get no jumping and then just file and that's it so since this is a straight tip you can actually file the underneath like i'm going you see how i go underneath and then hug around and keep it straight so that's all i do very simple there's nothing hard about this um, you know keep going till you're satisfied with your shape you know and that's it look at it perfect and then I just blend the little nail tip because there was a groove right there so I'm gonna show you two of the designs I have on my current nails just because some people wanted to see it for some reason I didn't record this yet because I didn't remember to record, to be honest. I just started doing nails. And since they're short, I was like, oh, I don't want to record it because they're not long how I like them. But I had to do them really short just because I had a lot of work to do. So same thing, just etch the nail so the tips can stay on. Use my Bandini nail glue. You see how this is a natural, a regular natural tip. It's not a curved tip, it's just nat a natural tip. You know they come curved like that already. So I do the same thing I did to the, the straight tip with my nail drill. That's really unnecessary because it's a practice hand, but whatever. So I do the same thing. What helps me with this, where the number is, that's basically my center. So. I just fall down thin as much as I want but I do that kind of halfway and do not girls do not file underneath just side to side nothing underneath you'll clean that up after you've done your but sorry you'll do that after you're done with the acrylic application and you'll see that later on how I touch that up but do not put the nail file underneath the nail tip you'll take away the whole curve so you see that you know so usually with curved nails i always look at them like that way because sometimes they depending on the curve of the natural nail they kind of tend to look like they're sideways sometimes so just be careful with that when you're gluing then this is the little design i did so i'll be back once i'm done with this part to add um in this video is when i do long nails like this i usually use bigger brushes or wider brushes but since this was a practice hand didn't really care what i used but one thing i do recommend when doing this you know as you kind of go by feel or maybe i'm just so used to doing this so much it's kind of hard to explain because it's just like i just do it so whenever I do pick up the bead, since the video is sped up, you can't tell how long I've had the bead in my hand, but I literally wait 
at least five to 10 seconds to make sure that the liquid has reached all the powder. So when I apply my bead, it's not running everywhere. You want it to stay put. You still, you have usually like about a minute to a minute and a half to work with your acrylic and mold it and sculpt it the way you want. So that's usually what I do. See how it's not running all over the place. I think when I did um, the curve nail, you'll see that it started like just sliding and pouring all the way down. So that's when my acrylic was actually still reaching all the acrylic. So just give it a few seconds or practice, you know, like see what, how long you want to wait. I usually wait 10 seconds because it, it makes the acrylic really workable and it's not running all over the place. So I just wanted to add that to this part. As you can see, like it makes it so much easier and you can smooth it and your filing will be way less. So this is a color by Glam and Glitz. Forgot the, the name on it. And you know, my dumbass covered some of the name with, you know, my little number for my swatch. So you see how I waited a few seconds there. You see how the bead is staying put and it's not going anywhere and I'm still being able to work it and it will move however I want it to move. So no, you, you gotta make the acrylic your bitch. I mean, you gotta <laughs> ignore that part, but yeah, don't, don't let the acrylic work, hustle you basically. You gotta hustle this acrylic. But yeah, um, that, that's my little tip that I have for you. Um, usually I dip the tweezers a, li a little bit of powder so the sticker is easier to place because sometimes they'll want to come back with the tweezer because it gets stuck on there so you know hopefully that works that's a good tip especially when you're doing really long nails you don't want the acrylic to go all over the place because that's when I notice I waste a lot of acrylic if I do it like that so you want to use all of your um, acrylic on the nail and not have it on your napkin basically so here I feel like I didn't wait too long so you see how the acrylic is just going down on its own that's what that happens when your bead is actually like still trying to reach all the the acrylic so since I was trying to do this video fast before my first appointment I was like damn it duh. I wanted it to be all neat and nice but here's a trial and error that you can actually learn from and you know clean up the sides make sure that you're keeping that curve when you're sculpting your acrylic on top of the nail tip so you know but i was working a little fast on this nail just because i was running out of time but so far it's not too bad see how it's just it's kind of staying where I, I put it and then i just smooth it down and when i do curved nails one thing i do always notice i do is that i'm I do make them a little thicker on the stress area more than when you do a regular nail just because when they're curved they're putting a lot more pressure on their nail bed to be honest because I've actually wear curved nails sometimes and I notice if I don't do it that thick there I'll snap oh excuse me I'll snap it off so this is a result I'm gonna wait for the acrylic to dry and I'm gonna start fighting so this is super simple everybody knows how to do this you know just shape i always do you know the bottom the sides i make sure that the shape is how i want it so same thing here split with the curved nail i do not put the file underneath just sidewall to sidewall and the tip usually when i shape i shape my cuticle area first then my tip and then i kind of connect and shape I don't know if that makes sense so you see right here how this is how I'm gonna be able to keep that curve nice crisp and clean just clean it up and the speed on the on the drill bit is kind of slow I think it's um, if you have this sorry I got interrupted but yeah so you see how this is how I'm keeping and cleaning up that little excess acrylic that was right there this here is gonna make me keep the curve nice and crisp with no bumps or lumps basically so that's super easy you know that's how you get a nice curve now i do a lot of curve nails so 
I'm not scared. I like them, you know, to not everybody likes them for some weird reason, but I actually do. But I don't do them that often. Um, so first I do the tip. I do the tip as thin as I want first. And then I just connect all the way down like that. And move your drill how you want the nail to be shaped. Since I want it curved, you know, I'm literally basically almost like going with the shape basically. Then I do the sides and center just to connect the edges I left. And that's it. Super easy. I don't think, I'm, you know, I've been using my nail drill so much. So now when I do these um, long tips, oops, I got out of frame. So I'm gonna end up opening and, you know, when they're straight, they do, the drill does get in the way. So that's why I pull it all the way out. And my speed is 10 because I'm not trying to remove bulk. I'm just trying to smooth the shape because it's kind of already how I want. That's how you should leave your acrylic so your filing time is super short and you're not stuck there filing and shaping. Like your sculpting should already be perfect. And this is just touch-ups. So and that's it, you know, and I just, after this, I buff the, all the way to the center and then I bevel down the sides, you know, and that's it, you're done. So thank you for watching, you guys. If I missed any details of what I just said, just leave it down below and thank you for watching thank you for supporting me don't forget to follow me on instagram it's also nailed by lucy and yeah give it a thumbs up bye Oh, 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 oh,